Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Natasha with Albums by Natasha. I'm going to be sharing with you today a mini album that I have in my Etsy shop. And it is winter themed as you can see. So on the cover here I've got kind of a rhinestone style snowflake. And... I have used a dome here from Frank Garcia to make a, a shaker snowflake and I've used some lace around that that also kind of gives the snowflake appearance. I've used some rhinestone trim here on the side for kind of an icy, icy style look. And then here on the spine I've got some lace. And that's the back. And the closure, I have used a lobster claw with some silver chain. Alrighty guys, now this is an eight and a half by eight and a half mini album. The spine is three inches. And let's go ahead and open her up and go inside. Now I did use a silver, a silver um, Basil Basics for most of the base pages of this entire album. I have used some white here and there, like you will see here. This is a die and it's white, but I did put the silver basil basics on top of that and then my pattern paper. Alrighty guys, so we have a six by six cut apart here. And by the way, this is a Bow Bunny collection. I think it was called winter wishes. I did use some pearl trim here to frame this entire piece and we have a lace flap down here. This is magnetized. It flips up and you see we have a pocket here and we've got a punched edge with some rhinestone trim and I've got a little boy tag there. Again, that's that silver Basil Basics that I've used. We've got a small photo mat here. Another small one here. Okay. And a four by six here. So we have a larger one down here. I did use another punched edge and more bling trim with a sticker from the collection that says Winter Wonderland. And now that I'm thinking about it, that was the name of this collection, this, this Bow Bunny collection that I used. So inside we've got all four by six. We've got a four by six mat here, a four by six mat here with that silver Basil Basics. And this one is actually a folder, and I have matted the inside with silver as well. And the back is just plain. All right, so that closes up, and this is basically going to be relatively the same as this page, only it's kind of opposite. Where this flap flipped up, this page is going to flip right. And I did go around the edges here with more pearl trim. So this is magnetized. We open and we have our flap here. I've got rhinestone trim here and here. And we have our pocket here. And on this one we have the little girl. I've got a photo mat here. Quite a few of them in there. All right, and then we have our base page, and I've got some rhinestone trim here, a little sticker from the collection here, more rhinestone trim here, and a punched edge. And in here we have three four by six photo mats. And the next page we have the double double pocket double page I guess it would be. I have used more of that icy looking trim that I have on the cover across the bottom along with some lace. So our bottom pocket we have 
two tags from the collection and two photo mats. And back here, our large pocket, we have a large photo mat. And we have a booklet, and this one actually flips up. And I have done the inside with more of the silver paper. Okay, now we'll move over to this side, and I'll come back over here. We have another tag from the collection. We're all like snowflakes, unique and one of a kind. And another photo mat. And another booklet. Now this one actually opens this way. A little bit of variety. Okay, and that actually goes down like that. In the back pocket we have another large photo mat. There. Okay. And we have another booklet. This one does flip up. And we go here. And these are identical pages as well, besides the fact that they flip out like this. I have cut two of these little icy pieces to make kind of a doorknob. I do have satin pull tabs that I've made out of ribbon here. And I have made a pearl trim frame, so nice place for five by seven pictures here if we have them. Maybe you've got some pictures that you wanna blow up that you really like. Inside of here, I did not put any photo mats. I figured after you put a couple pictures in there, it'll probably be quite thick without the photo mats. I did, however, put some lace trim here and some rhinestone here, and that is on both sides. And that closes with the magnet. And this side is exactly the same. Lots of storage. Okay. Now this again is another identical page, only they go to the left and to the right. Well, to the left and to the right. <laughs> um, it is a double pocket page, the both of them. And we have two stickers here from the collection. The bottom one, we have a tag and a four by six photo mat. Sorry, I'm off frame there. All right, and we do have two large four by six photo mats in that pocket. Moving over here, got those. And in the back we've got these. Okay. Now this page we have our double waterfall. This one goes to the left and this one goes up. And I did go around the outside here with the rhinestone trim to make frames around. And I've used some uh, lace here, some white lace to make a closure. I did also put pearl trim at the bottom, well, I, to the right of this one and the bottom on this one. And we've got room for eight pictures. I did leave, well, no, I didn't leave the backs blank. I put silver. So we have Pattern paper, pattern paper, silver, silver, pattern paper, pattern paper, silver, and silver. And then you've got room here for one as well. Okay. And I'll go through this one with you as well. It is exactly the same as I wanted them to match other than the direction. Okay, and area down here as well. I really love this lace for tie-offs. It's perfect for what it does. All right, so we have double belly bands on these pages. This belly band obviously goes up and down. I have cut little pieces off of that trim to make some buttons. And in here we have three four by six photo mats. Okay. And they slip right back in there. 
And here I actually have a little stopper down here that I made with a sticker. But again, we have three photo mats. And they slide right back in down to the stopper. All right, last page. The last page I did leave blank. I thought this would be a nice area for some collaging. And I did put some of this lace. It is open, so you can slide your pictures underneath of there. And I put a line of pearl trim here at the top. This page is just a very large, deep, thick pocket. I did put lace over the entire pocket and made these buttons again that you see throughout the entire album. In the back, I did do a little journal here that has another lace tie off. So the front of it here, you can do anything on. You can write on it. You could, you know, put some flowers on it, collage. And inside you have all of this paper to write in. Alrighty, guys, I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. I will leave the link to the album below. And thanks for stopping by.